In this lesson, we're going to see how to compile our Visual Basic program into a standalone executable file. All right, here we are back in our simple calculator we've been working on. Now, if I want to run this calculator program, I have to come here inside the Visual Basic editor and then run the program. But that's not very useful in my day-to-day -day life. I don't want to have to stop and run Visual Basic just to run this program. So it would be nice if I had some way of compiling this program up into an executable file. In other words, a program file that I can run just from inside of Windows. And we can do that. First, make sure you save your project. Hit the Save button. It will save any files that you haven't saved since you've made changes. Now, click on File, and then come down to Make Simple Calculator.exe. This will compile your program up into an executable program. It'll ask you for a name. Simple Calculator is fine. Hit OK. You'll hear Windows do some churning and bubbling. And when it's all done, you'll have an executable program. But where is it? I don't see it. Well, let's go look for it. Let's minimize our Visual Basic Editor for the moment. And let's go to Start and up to My Documents. There it is. Here's my My Documents folder. And here's my VB Files folder. Let's open that up, double click. And OK, here's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Here's our simple calculator. That's the program. Here's a simple calculator Visual Basic form file and a simple calculator Visual Basic project file. How do you tell the difference between these guys? Well, in my Windows courses, I teach people how to turn on what are called file extensions. So you can see the three or four character extensions on the ends of these file names. If you're going to be doing any programming, it's almost a must. Click on Tools and then Folder Options. Go to the View tab. And then come down here and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. I wish the guys at Microsoft would leave that off by default and click on OK. And now you can actually see what these are. This is an EXE, an executable, an FRM, a form, and a VBP, a Visual Basic Project. Yeah, the descriptions are here too, but you can't always tell what these are. With the extensions showing, you can see exactly what these are. And seeing file extensions, by the way, will help you to avoid viruses. You'll know not to click on an EXE file. But here's what I'm trying to show with the lesson. Let's find the .exe file and double click on it. And there we go. Our program runs right from my computer or Explorer or wherever you happen to be in Windows. It's now its own standalone Windows application. You don't have to load up Visual Basic to run your program. And just like I show in my Windows Basis courses, you can take this, right click on it, and drag it to the desktop and create a shortcut to it. So now your simple calculator is on your desktop. And we can click on it once to rename it. Calculator. And there we go. Now anytime I want to run this, I can just double click on it right here on my desktop. Now one of the things that students always ask me in my classroom class, can you share your program? Can I take that exe file that we just created and give it to a buddy on a floppy disk and say, here, you can run this. The answer is, it depends. If he has any other Visual Basic programs on his machine, chances are he has all the necessary files. You may have to give him some additional files, some DLLs and some other control files that he might not have on his computer, again, depending on what's on his machine right now. If you look on your Start menu, Start, Programs, Visual Studio, and then any Microsoft Visual Studio tools, you will find a Package and Deployment Wizard. 
Now, we're not going to run through this wizard in today's course. We're going to do this in a future course. But this guy basically takes your program and packages it up with all the necessary files that you need to distribute your program. Feel free to run through this package and deployment wizard if you'd like to. You only need to bother if you want to be able to share your Visual Basic program with other people. You can try giving them your .exe file first and see if it works, but if not, you might have to run through this. And again, we're going to cover this in a future course, but since my students always ask me about this, even in the basics classes, I feel it necessary to tell you. But keep in mind that since you have Visual Basic on your computer, you don't need to do that. You can run just the .exe because you have all the necessary files on your machine.